G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, where we are coming into the last episode of our volcano base. We're going to take everything that we've built and see how it stands up against a Blood Moon Horde. I have no expectations about this going well at all. In fact, to be honest, I'm pretty sure they're going to undermine the whole thing and collapse the mountain around me. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it may actually work out reasonably okay with me. I have a couple of hours before the Horde does arrive, so I have some time to do some prep work, some ammo crafting, and get my life in order a little bit. But for the moment, I'm just taking a beat to sit outside on my deck and watch the sun rise because before too long well i'm gonna be up with the stars scattered into a million little pieces there was actually one thing that i didn't get to do but people were suggesting it in the comments and that was with these uh end tables here because i have this um what are these these industrial light bulbs that really only take up one block maybe i can use them yeah like that oh it was almost there that's almost perfect like that i can put that in oh that's actually really good inside the lampshades Come on, give me the same thing again. Give me the same thing again. You know you want to. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we go. Just like that. So if that works, depending on how bright they are, that might be better than the lantern trick, actually. So you, you're the one running from uh, from my timer relay so things don't turn on outside of night time when I actually need them. So you run to this one somewhere in here, please. Oh, that might be a problem. I can't actually wire the thing. So the hitboxes won't allow me to actually wire the globe. There must be a way. I can get inside the lampshade. Let me in. Let me wire you. Nah, I don't think it's going to work. Regardless of where I go here, I can't get the little plug icon. I just can't. <laughs> I've been thwarted by a lampshade, apparently. Which is less than exciting. Perhaps even like, do I have to put the globe in first and then build the lampshade around it? Is that the only way I'm going to get this to work? But now I'm committed. Now I want to know if I even can... And table. If I make another couple of you... Oh, I forgot you're expensive to make, though. Duct tape, polymers, headlights. Can I just, like, can I pick you up, maybe? No? That's a bit of a shame. Damn it, let me just have you back. I decided that I'm committed. I'm committed to getting it done. If I'm gonna, like... I've already put the globes down, so I'm already half committed, but I've got the resources to do it. I didn't have to go and, like, break down some cars to get headlights and things, so may as well just give it a red-hot crack. Let's go like this. Let's break... You down, get you out of the way. Oh, Josh, before I get to it, the whole point of this was to wire up the globe. Don't just immediately replace it. I mean, I know you're a galah a lot of the time, but that would be bad even for you. Let's go like this. Wire you to that one. Before I put it back down again, actually, I'll uh, make sure they're on and running so that I can see what it looks like before it's all said and done. Oh, man. Just like, just foolproof it a little bit, you know? Try and account for the fact that you're a turner. Here we go. Why you to that one? They're now on and looking lovely. You go like that, and you go like that. Oh, it even like works. The, the, the light shade actually works. Like it puts like a shadow on the wall and shields the light a little bit. Who would have thought that a lampshade would actually work? That's like a testament to seven days. I'm surprised that things actually work the way they're designed to. That's actually really good. I, I do. I do like that better. That might be how I have to go, go about making myself the end tables from now on. Chucking one of these industrial globes inside it before I put it down. Because actually, that's, that's come up spiffing. I really like that. I really like that a lot. All right, sick bloody tits. I'm a little bit peckish. Let's quickly just chow down on some jerky. Get that inside your face and honk it over. What else do I need to do? What else is kind of pressing? It's really just like, I need to get the ammo crafting actually. But it's just a matter of biding time before the horde comes to wreck my shop. I am missing some lead to make some more coal batteries, so I'll get you on the craft now. And in fact, while I'm waiting for that, I will start crafting the rest of my 762. Like, even the M4 might be enough just to get me through whatever does actually come for me tonight. So, give me most of you. In fact, the gunpowder as well will probably help me out. Let's quickly jump back down to my metal workbench. I really like how this base is laid out now. I really like it. And that's kind of a problem. I'm getting attached to this base as well. There's now two bases in this world that I am wholeheartedly attached to. And after today, I have to say goodbye to them. There's one just there and there's one just here. I don't want to say goodbye to this place though. It's a lovely place to be. Can't I just live in this apocalypse for a little while? I feel like I've got a, a pretty good head start on most of the zombies coming for me. Why wouldn't I want to stay here? Well, while I'm waiting for that then, let's go down. Oh, I'm already at floor two. Let's go down to floor one then. Down we go. 
getting smoother and smoother every time. Down to my little gyro pad. Just need to pick you up and turn you around because you're facing the wrong way. I'm going to quickly go and mine up some more lead from the mines just downstairs. Uh, because I do want to get some more core off ammo on the go. Here we go. Please open sesame. Open up. Almost through like butter, but we're okay. Up into the sky we go. I'm really only heading just over here. Not really going far at all. So good though. Look at that place. Look at it. How could you not love it? I'm stoked with how that's turned out actually. That's one of my favorite builds in a long time. Just turn my gyro around. So I'll have a nice easy runway to get out of here on when push does come to shove. Look at that base. What a kick-ass base that was. Um, where is... Which hole was it for the lead? This one over here. Can't decide which hole I want to go into. There it is just there. I did bring my auger with me. So I'll get you. Make sure you're nice and refueled and ready to go. Hopefully no screamers are going to show up. But I can't ever take that for granted. Let's just get some lead and get out of here. It's got over 6,000 lead on me. That should be more than enough for what I want to do. Where's my way out again? Oh, and there's a screamer moaning them gurgling upstairs as well. So I need to be real careful about getting out of here. Where the shit is my way out? How? Oh, there it is there. Okay, I was going to say, how did I get bloody lost? I knew it was near the skeleton, but then I just lost it completely. Where are you, Myrtle? You up here somewhere? I can hear you to my right, I think. Up, up. Up. She's behind the big rock. There she is. Good kill. Good kill. Nice and clean. No one's coming for her moans. Sick. All right. Let's go back home again. Fingers crossed and toes crossed. I'm going to make this landing again. I made it once yesterday. And I'm still stoked about it. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it again. But there's only one way to find out. I'm going to try and start high. Oh, there it is. It's kind of coming into view now. To try to like swoop down onto it rather than try to worry myself about landing smoothly. You always kind of need to aim higher than you think you do. I remember that. That was like a reasonably good approach. Don't bin it, don't bin it, don't bin it. And in we go. That is two for two. Perfect fucking landings. If I had any passengers, they would have stood up and given me a rumptuous round of applause. Oh, that was really good. I'm really happy with that. Turns out we actually had to fly a gyro after playing 7 Days to Die for years and bloody years. Uh, you, you remember a whole bunch of coal batteries, did all of that for only... I only had a 45 ball lead. For that whole journey. Ah, oh, well, this is what it is, I suppose. We'll get you, make a bunch of 7.62 core rounds after that as well. So I'm just going to leave that going. It's going to take a little while, but I'll come back to the other side, having a fair amount of ammo in there ready and waiting for me. Am I missing anything else, though? What else is out here? I'm going to do a little bit more work on the pool rather than having, like, a dirt ditch. Actually give it some, like, nice surroundings. But I've got some nice strong walls around the place. I've got my insta-kill anti-zombie doors over here that are ready to swallow all of the zombies that come their way and send them to bedrock. I mean, it should work. I've done the work to make it work, but there's every chance I've over oversighted. I've had an oversight somewhere. This isn't quite foolproof. This isn't quite woodleproof. Oh, looks like I missed a rebar frame when I was making the pool. I'll upgrade you. I'll actually upgrade all the stairs as well. Now that you're all set for concrete, you can now be reinforced concrete. And I need you. Grab that one real fast and just turn you into nice solid blocks. I did see a lot of comments as well of people asking about why I didn't make the bottom of the pool uh, reinforced glass. So you could look down that giant pit of bedrock underneath it and like have that kind of view. And in any other alpha, I probably would have. But in alpha 19, that like the reinforced, like the, the bulletproof glass blocks are horrendously ugly. They're disgusting. They actually have just all sorts of particulates smeared all along it. What is spit on it? I'm not going to fancy a guess. Like, as any of the options I can think of all make me want to vomit in my mouth. But none of it looks good at all. So if I had it been, like, the nice old style, clean, with just, like, the um the wires running through a bulletproof glass, I probably would have. But in this one, yeah, nah, buddy. I ain't having that feces in the bottom of my pool. That's a bad time. I'm just going to put in, not right up against it just there, but, like, on the block further out, or even... Mm, nah, this will work. This will be fine. So I'll go like that. Put in a couple of catwalks just ready outside that have some nice wooden planks to walk your bare feet along. Nothing worse than being barefoot to get in and out of a pool than having to deal with like gravel or some shit sticking to your toesies. 
go all the way along like that. Got a nice big solid outer wall to keep yourself safe along them. Um, and even, in fact, you know what? We'll go like this. Put in a corner block like that. And I'll get rid of this one and the one next to it. And that could be the entryway. Now, you need a way to get into here without hopping or railing. With slippery feet, that's just asking for disaster. Paint all the catwalks to be a nice kind of like varnish wood color. That's nice. It's not quite right up against the edge like an infinity pool should be, but I already had the hole there, so I took advantage of it. If I could like get rid of all the ground over here with a bunch of sticks of dynamite, then I probably would. That looks pretty lovely. I like how that's gone. So I guess now, what else do I have to do? A bit of painting, I suppose, to paint the rest of the house and stuff. It's already one o'clock in the afternoon. How's my ammo coming along? That's probably the one thing I should really be focusing on. You're still crafting away. In fact, just put a hold on that for the moment and focus on making myself some um some core rifle ammo. I have a surplus of 762 already. Some extra core rifle would probably be smart. Just going through and painting some of the stuff that's a bit more out in the open. I am once again ruining the fact that I don't have the paint all size options that you do get uh, in creative. You have to go through and paint all this stuff manually, which just takes a little bit more time than I was hoping I would have to put into it. Go like that. In fact, along the guts of it, like here, paint that side over there as well, please. There you go. Got to get the right hitbox to paint it how you want it to be. I think down the guts of this pathway, what is it? I think it's like the sidewalk. Sidewalk. Grab you. Yeah, like some big paver stones kind of look. That's actually pretty nice. Kind of like contrasts against the, the large brick texture. <laughs> Not really what I thought I'd be doing coming into a horde, but I've already done all the hard work building the rest of the base. Like, the wall should hold. I've got all of nature protecting me out here as well. That was the wrong button. That one there. There you go. Use that as a part. Look, I've got all of this protecting me. Hopefully, this will do more of the work than anything I have to build. Although, that has kind of just reminded me. It's just after midday. I might have enough time to get the concrete to dry. I think I need to... Oh, yeah, all of those, actually. Let's go like this. Let's get rid of you guys. Oh, this is so strong. Hopefully, all of them will work. But I need to get rid of these blocks and replace them with bigger blocks that are going to funnel down to a narrower opening. Because at the moment, there's always going to just cruise up and jump over my little hatches. They don't even stop that. So having a thicker roof that tapers down to that point there, so it goes up like that. That's what I want. That's what I need. That should keep me safer. Okay, you guys all upgrade like that. Those are just thick wedges to bring it down to be... Because there were half blocks on the ceilings. So that brings it down to be a full block again. Which means in that spot there. Don't need to worry about breaking those ones at the top. Because you just go like that. That's... Oh, actually, is that... No, that one there. There we go. That's why you work with frames, Josh. Rather than being a muppet and breaking it some other way. So that'll give me... That gives me enough of the slot to fight through, but the zombies can't squeeze through it, so that's fine. And then when I need to get out there, I can close that. They go down, and I can just slide on through all happy easily. That's really good. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, it's a little bit squishy because the, the vault doors are so bloody thick with like 18 Cs. But just as is, that's A-OK. -okay. Just put the finishing touch on the front part over here. Just to make it all nice and seamless. It's just like, it's like a BMX jump in the middle of my, uh, my zombie proof entryway, but upside down. That's fine when we're a bike on the ceiling. There's a couple of mushrooms that'll help you with that, but oh, I'm not going to have any part of it. Um, I want to actually make you metal red, concrete red. Actually, no, metal red is the more vibrant of the two. I'll get you, I'll go the paint roller and just start painting all of this. This is where zombies come to die. I need to hide all the blood that will be on the walls. No, can't have nice clean walls with blood splatters. May as make the whole wall a blood splatter. I reckon that. I reckon it looks bloody sick. I reckon that looks really nice. I like having like the big red corridor of like, danger, danger, this is where you're going to die because anything that comes in there is going to die. I will paint you to match though so everything inside the wall is nice and red. Pop out this side. So I might paint the rest of these walls. My corn farm's looking great actually. That's come up an absolute treat. So if I'm like... If I was going to continue this this world beyond today, this would be fully self-sustaining. I have to go get my solar panels from my old base all the way down there just for environmental sake. But as it stands, it's perfect. I've got the corn for my polymer production. My ammo production's fine. I've got all my resources. Got my sickest tits buddy crafting area. Got a nice living area up here as well. 
I'm not really sure what else you can ask of me. Like, imagine just sitting here on a nice summer's day. Kick your thongs off, crack open a couple of titties, and have a lovely froth looking out at the world. This would be a great place to hang out during the day. And at night too. Just any time of the day. This is peak life. I was going to paint the balcony out of here, but I actually kind of like just the default wood look. It looks a bit aged, a bit more weathered because it's been out in the elements. Still so stoked with that though. That like the walls on the side as well, and they're kind of like forming into a U shape. Absolutely pineapple tickly fresh about how that's turned out. Uh, what else do we need to do? That goes down to the, the garden. That's fine. All this is done out here. Can paint you guys though to all match as well. Um, what's the time? Half past four. I need to go check on my ammo production. But I also want to get this place just done. I just want it done. Because if I survive tonight and I fly off triumphantly into the sun. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I live on a volcano. Potted with holes that lead to instantaneous death and I'm apparently walking around with soggy crocs that have been soaking in bloody bolognese sauce How am I so freaking silly when it comes to trying to keep my feet? I have to use my sprint and my jump function to get back up into my bloody house. I've got 12 hours of a broken femur Oh <laughs> I hate me that's all right. Fortunately, I have a chemistry station here to make myself a cast. Got 30 hours. It's so, it's so obnoxiously cruel with the broken legs. Like that's 30 in-game days of not being able to move. In a couple of seconds, I'm tapping shift a couple of times. I understand like increasing the load if you push yourself, but just like looking at the shift key shouldn't increase it that much. It's too much. It's too OP. What's, what's the opposite of OP? What's well, like a bad, or like overpowered? Maybe it's just OP. Maybe it just is. I don't know. But either way, it is not a good time. Give me you. Give me that. Slap you on my knee. 19 minutes to heal myself out of that one. Bloody silly, Josh. Absolutely silly. The crickets have started chirping and it's gotten awful gloomy out here. I might have to go and quickly turn on my, uh, my timer to come on now rather than later because it's getting real heckin' dark. Uh, you, please turn on now. That'll do. Seven o'clock seems like about the right time to start using electrical power. Oh man, I'm gonna miss this place. What a place it's been for me. All my guns though. You've got some ammo, you've got some ammo. Right, I need to make sure this time I'm actually prepared for the horde. The last time I fought a horde at my old base, it did not go well for me at all because I didn't have concrete and I didn't have health kits, which was very bloody silly of me. Give me you and you and you. But this time I will be a little bit more prepared. I'll actually see the problems coming and get ahead of it. So I should have everything that I need. Uh, I don't need the auger on me, actually. I need first aid. I need painkillers, just in case. I need my rocket launcher, almost definitely. Um, not really planning on using the call sniper today, but I'll we'll, we'll hold on to it just in case, I suppose. I've got lots of ammo and stuff, though. That's all fine. Uh, got some fuel. I'll quickly duck downstairs and... Oh, God, my frame rate is ass right now. Make sure you are nice and refueled so that you don't turn off halfway through the night and the doors close and all the zombies just pitter-patter across. What else am I missing? I don't really think much. I've got concrete, I've got iron, I've got steel, I've got wood. Anything I need to repair, I should be able to repair. Got my multi-tool, which should be in that... No, that's wrong one. In that open slot there. You just go to there, please. That should be enough. Oh, God, I'm nervous now. I'm nervous now. It's all scary. Look at the world outside. I built this house to have a view. My view's been murdered and all the blood is in the sky. One last thing I wanted to do before I do wrap this all up. That's the right way there. So you open up and away from me. Same with that one. You just go around and quickly patch up this hole. Because I have almost like fallen down it a bunch of times. If I hadn't clogged it up before, I definitely would have died down there already. If I go around... Oh, actually, can I go all the way? How many did I make? I think I might have enough to do it. Can I just put in... Can I go like one of these ones? Like that. And like that. That works so I can kind of see down. That's actually kind of nice. I like that. All right. Easy as that then. I'll go copy rotation. Stick you in there. And along these last two bits here as well. Two more of you. That should be good. 
Yeah, good. I'm glad I'm doing upgrades to the base right at the last second. Zeus is off clapping in the distance. I've got an hour left. But we're still just making this place as nice as possible. If I die tonight, I want this place to live on for the next person to stumble across it. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. I like having, you can even see the red mist at the bottom of my secret passage. If things go wrong, I can't even escape anyway, because the bike and the gyrocopter won't work now that it's after 7 p.m. But that looks pretty cool. I'm glad I put those railings in. All right, well, let's open up the doors. Let's close those doors so the pit to hell is open and beckoning and waiting for a zombie to snaffle up. Oh, man. I didn't paint that whole side of the house. Oh, right, too late now, though. I've got my stuff. I've got my gubs. I've got everything that I think I need. Oh, I hope this goes well. Before we say goodbye, I'm going to quickly run inside. Go to you. Grab just, just one frothy. Just one frothy should be enough just to toast to my imminent demise. I'm going to take those with me as well, actually. And as the rules state, got to get your pants off when you're going to have a froth or a cough out on the balcony. Goodbye, house. Goodbye, world. It's been a pleasure being inside you. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have because I have had an absolute time. Go like that. I'll quickly drink both of you as well. Not that it really matters, I suppose. It's about to all kick off. XP gogs are on. Zeus is getting rowdy. All right, let's go wait. Oh, actually, what I should do before they all get here, I should actually have these doors closed so they have a path and then open it when they're standing on top of it. That should be the way that I do it, rather than expect them to run up and fall down on their own volition. The last couple of minutes, I really, there it is now actually, I really do think that they're probably gonna spawn who bloody knows where, like they really have to spawn somewhere near the top of the volcano for this to work, but I don't know where they're gonna be. So there's every chance we'll just be waiting a little while. Crooked has murdered you though, just for the sake of it. Yeah, I can hear digging. Oh, there's a cop. So they're not coming the way that I hoped that they would. Can you please make your way in an orderly fashion over to my entryway? I prepared it specifically for you. It's here and it's all yours. Please come and use it. I can't see much, but I can hear things. Oh, okay. There's one. So I guess they're tunneling underneath from that way. Maybe if I give them a better way to get to me, they might try a different route. Maybe if I stand... Oh, that's so sketchy. Maybe if I stand out here, they might try a different avenue to get to me. I don't really especially know. Half the problem here is just trying to figure out how they're going to path. Their super genius zombie skills apparently aren't ser serving them all that well. That sounds like a demo. Is there a demo out here somewhere? If there is, it's not up with me. I mean, you guys are welcome to tunnel your way into this pit of death and send yourself down to your demise all on your own. Some, I don't really mind too much. As long as I fill up this pit full of decaying corpses, that's fine with me. Red was definitely a good color choice for the little tunnel of death over there. Not that any of you bastards are going to see it. All my hard work is about to be undone because you clowns can't figure out how to skip a roo up the edge of a cliff. Come on. I, mean, I don't even want to kill him anymore. I just want you all to make it up here some way. Somehow we'll be together. Let your zombie waves crash down and take me away. Where the shit's the rest of them? There's a demo in a cave somewhere. There's people breaking things all over the place. No one's in my house though, which is good news for me. Here you go. Come on. There you go. You're slowly making it. You can almost taste it. You can almost smell victory. Keep coming. Just come and look up that way. It's already there. I've seen zombies do it before. You just have to try a little harder. I'm now trying to actively work with the zombies to try and make their lives a little bit better. There you go. Look, a nice easy path all the way to the top that you can follow. Yes, there's a couple of mild falls around, but that's all right. Come on, you want it? You want it? There it is. All you have to do is just get up that little bit there and you're home and hose. There you go. Climb all over each other. Get your full World War Z on. I'm waiting. I'm ready. I'm willing and able. Just get over here. Oh. G'day, buddy boy. Mind if I tickle your nipples real quick? I kind of need you to open up a bit more of the terrain for me if you wouldn't bloody mind. Where are you? There you are. Perfect shot. Perfect. There you go. Nice open area for you to squeeze on through. Can I like, can I help out a bit more though? Is there more I can do for you? Oh, here we go. Nets! Over here. This way, please. There you go. No, don't go down into the demo hole. You're so close. Come on, I know you can do it. I have faith in you. Get your ass over here. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, it's working. It's working. Okay, everyone, come over here, please. I'll 
Squeeze on back through here. I'll open you. Nance. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you. Oh, no, you're still there. You're fine. Yes. All right. <laughs> Catch you later, dudes. <laughs> there you go. Look, it's fine. It's open. I shouldn't have uh, flicked the trigger so early because they also need to come and join me in my wonderful house of horrors. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I'm going to sit here for days. Make sure you guys are nice and upgraded. Keep you good. You good. Right, I'm sick of your shit. And down you go. Down into the depths of the world. Never to be seen again. Ah, uh, works a treat. That's so good. Where's the rest of them, though? You need to keep on coming. Where the shit did you all go? Come on, a couple made it. Where's the rest of yous? So I did have to make a bit of a, um, a bit of an obstacle course for him to get here. Arlene is having a bit of a time. The rest of them are just having a wonderful time in a cave. They're digging a hole with their friends and they're absolutely frothing it. Come on, Arles, get up here. It's right there. There's your way up. I, um, I probably should, I, I could have maybe made a goat track for him or something earlier on to give him an easier path, but I know that it's possible for you now. You just gotta want it. There you go. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. All the way to the top. Come have a play in my fun house. If I have to go like one at a time with this, it's going to get a bit tedious. Here we go. Got a couple of friends. I'll just leave you there for a moment if I can go and have a squeeze at what else might be happening. There's, there's a whole lot happening. Oh, there we go. That's a bit more of a crowd. Anyone else coming in? No, nope, that's it. That's all that's going to ride the roller coaster today. All right. There we go. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Scobo! Where are you going? Get over here, you fat tub of lard. <laughs> I could just have fun with this forever. I know I could wire this up to have like a motion sensor or something, or like a trip wire or something, like I did with the trapdoor base, just to send them down automatically. But there's something so satisfying about doing it myself, about being the one that pulls the trigger to send them down to the middle of nowhere. Do they even die though? Like when they get all the way down then? I know that one Loza did, but I didn't think they died when they fell regardless of the distance anymore. Does that mean that eventually I'll just have the entirety of the horde hanging out at the bottom of the world? Because if I can do that, they could be like my pets. I can have zombified pets and I can keep myself safe for the rest of the horde night. God, look at the damage they've done here too. I've got a bit of a lull because I think half the zombies at the bottom of the world are still just kind of hanging out down there. So I'm going to take this opportunity to come out here and make their lives a little better. There we go. There we go. Got to make the entry into Josh's house of horrors a little bit more manageable. But I suppose they're, you know, a little bit rotten and pretty much brain dead. So I should probably give them a bit of a break. There's definitely a lot of them down here somewhere though. Where are you, Zol? Are you, are you okay? You're inside the mountain. The call is coming from inside the volcano. What am I supposed to do with that? I can see him just there. Can I just like slide a rocket through that gap? Just like... In a second, if I reload some explosives, just about there. That's a good pill right to the little envelope. Nope, no one else is in the hole. All right, that's fine. If more, I, I just want to get more to spawn so that it gets stuck in the hole again. What? Are you inside me bloody house? You ass hat, where are you? Oh no, you're on the other side of this wall. All right, hang on. Hang on, I'll have to get out there and kill you because you're on the wrong side. You circumvented all my preparations, dickhead. You made it really difficult for me. Where are you? What are you doing to me? Go away. Go away. The entryway's on the other side. Piss off, would you please? Oh, g'day, bud. Oh, look at you persevering little rugrats. Made it all the way out the other side. Proud of you guys. I thought you guys were just in a cavern forever now, but you're slowly but surely making your way up to where I am. All right, fair credit to you. I'd kind of written you off. I was just kind of thinking to myself that this has gone about the way that I expected it to, given that most of the zombies spawned, like it's pretty rugged terrain, and most of the zombies spawned where they couldn't get to me, so they've kind of started burrowing around. But if they can eventually make it here, fair credit to them. I mean, I'm going to send them back down from whence they came anyway, but I want to see what they get up to. They don't seem to be making an awful lot of progress down there, so I'm just going to do the same to them what I did to the last one and put it around right through the little cavern that they've dug for themselves. Have another one. I, uh, excuse me, you sound like you're coming from the wrong direction. Oh, God, what are you doing on this side of the fence? Uh, you need to fuck off as well. I can't send a vulture down to the middle of the world because they can just flap their way out of it again. Um, why are you guys spawning in here? You really bloody shouldn't be. I mean, I know you wanted to come over for a pool party and stuff, but wait for an invitation or something. Jeez, or at least the sun to come out. That's just heckin' rude. 
Uh, right. Okay. Well, I'm not exactly sure why they're spawning here. I have the land claim blocked down, but it is what it is, I suppose. Maybe there's just so little ground at this altitude that the, the game has no choice but to spawn them where they're going to be. Oh, actually, you know what? If I could, like, get a path around the outside like that, that might work a bit better for them. Maybe they can use that rather than beating down my wall. Hang on two seconds. I'll make it work for you. Just give us a tick. Here you go, bud. Here you go, bud. There. Look at that. Look at that. Of a little pathway that leads you all the way around exactly to where I am. Bloody perfect. Open up the doors real quick. Got a couple of you boys. Have a jump. Have a skip. Have a fall. There you go. There you go. Have a nice trip and all those cheesy jokes. Yeah, perfect. I'm not going down there to join them, though. That is the morning time, though. The horn is over. There wasn't a lot of fighting to be done because they spent most of their time fighting a freaking mountain. But now I want to go find out what they've gotten up to and how much damage they've done. So they're all just kind of hanging out in this pit down here. Or well, they were, at least. Now they're all kind of mushy and smeared against the sides. Anyone else down here? Got a couple of you guys. Don't mind me. Just joining in the little pit of death. Going to turn this little playpen into a ball pit by filling it full of zombies. This is a lot of damage. They have spent a long time digging their way through. Look at that, though. So what, a lot of them spawned here, I suppose, and has made their way slowly but surely up. If they had it kept being, like, slightly organized about it, they probably would have made it to me, you know? In fact, the path is there. They just chose not to take it. Look at that. All the way up. I'm sure a couple of them fell down there, <laughs> dug themselves a window to death better than I ever could have, and then all the way up and all the way up like that. So it could definitely have been done. But I wonder, I wonder who's at the bottom of this world waiting for me. Might be time to grab the gyro and have a squiz at the bottom of the crater. Like people have been asking me to for a heckin' long time. Before I go though, because once I take off in the gyro, I don't think I'm coming back to this place. It's, it, I mean, look, it's not much. It didn't need to be much. I mean, you can build massive houses in this game, but like after a couple of rooms, what do you really need all the space for? There's not that many crafting stations. Even with Darkness Falls and all the extra stuff that you get with this, like this was still more than enough space. But I think it's time we say goodbye. I really like this part of the house though. The bed over there, the working table lamps as well, the fireplace, all of it. I really like how this place turned out. This is one of my favorite bases I've ever made by a margin. And I'll miss it. I'll miss it an awful lot. All right, but enough ill with all the feels, Josh. Let's take back down into the gyrocopter hangar, which is also really bloody cool to have. Uh, where's the hitbox on you? There you are. Got to find the right pixel to look at. Grab that. Chuck you onto there and take off into the skies again. Oh, man. Goodbye, house. I enjoyed being with you and building you so bloody much. It's always a shame to say goodbye. But anyway, away we go. Let's get up into the sky and see if we can fly this thing down into the crater and see what's going on at the bottom. Must a bit melancholy, you know? It's a little bit bittersweet. What a place that was. It won't let me go any higher because I am at the top of the world, but I can spin around and just see if I can like slow down and maybe just like drop like a stone. But let's go all the way up and just see if we can drop relatively straight down. There you go. That'll work. Don't want to go too fast. I don't want to break myself when I hit the bottom. But getting out of here is going to be a whole other thing unto itself. Kind of like, if I keep my speed going, maybe I can keep going up though. Go on, get your nose up. So it is just like, it is just a bit of like, it's the top of the world just spawned at the bottom. There's not a lot going on down here, but yeah, it's just like the peak of the mountain hit the top of the world and glitched to the bottom, I suppose. Which is fine. That works for me. Yeah, we're getting up. We're getting up so we can get up and out of here. We're fine. We're fine. So there you go. That's what's at the bottom of the crater. Just what would have been the tip of the mountain now at the bottom floor. Oh, that's so good. I don't even know if this is going to be a thing anymore. Is this, is this like a, a, a glitch in like the random gen as opposed to some of them might be repl uh, replicatable? In fact, how many more are there? Oh, there's another one over there. How many more volcanoes are around? Because there's plenty, maybe it can be replicated and then we can build more cool volcano bases in the future. Oh, I'll miss that one though. What a time. Yeah, look, there's a bunch of them. Oh, there's a bear right there. Want to jump in there for me so I can see you go all the way down? There's another one there. There's a derper just over there too. So like, for the little ones like that, they're more of just like a death trap than anything else. Like the little tiny holes, like the one that I made my my secret entrance out of, went down to my, my, my bicycles, uh, motorcycle rather, secret entrance. That one's just a death trap. It's a small hole that's insta-death. That's a bad time. 
But like the bigger ones are absolutely usable. I'm so glad I went and explored up there. It was overlooking the town for so long. I never had a squiz at it. But when I did, it was definitely worthwhile. One last little buzzing of the tower, I think, to say goodbye properly. We might swing by our, uh, our house down there, then call it. Oh, I've just had a wonderful time. This whole series, like the Anywhere, Anytime series as well, and then building the volcano base. It was a lovely change of pace just to go through and just like focus on building as opposed to fighting hordes and stuff. Yeah, that's been a good time. I've enjoyed myself immensely. Goodbye, volcano base. We'll, so, we'll go say goodbye to this base down here as well. But yeah, just having like the change of focus. This whole series, like not having horde knights, it's a different way to play the game. And I really bloody enjoyed it. Especially building this kick-ass one down here with all like, the turrets and the blade traps and things. Building like, uh, like a reinforced POI as opposed to a dedicated horde base. That was a good time as well. Uh, goodbye, other base. Goodbye, all my bases. Ah, oh, it's time to move on. It's time to go find a new challenge to set myself to and see what we can come up against. It's been an absolute wonderful rip snorting time all over the place. But I'm gonna have to leave this uh this episode here and this whole series here actually. No, I did a bit of a goodbye at the end of anywhere, anytime, and then the volcano based stuff. But I've got something new planned. Alpha 20 is not far away, so I've got a series in mind to lead us from now till Alpha 20 comes out. Pretty happily, I think. We are going back to vanilla, though. We're going back to vanilla 7 days. Back <laughs> to hopefully remember how to play vanilla 7 days. Got too used to Darkness Falls. But I'm going to have to leave this episode and this series and Darkness Falls here and come back and try something new. But thank you guys for coming along, and I hope you guys enjoyed, like, the building kind of series like a build heavy series instead of a raiding and fighting heavy series bit of a change of pace for everyone but i had a great time so i hope you guys did too but i'll have to come back and start a new series in another episode because this series is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to the patreon the patreon who made this episode possible if you like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.